Hello, my name is Mart. I work as a project manager in City of Tallinn. And I'll make a short introduction today to Tallinn's Smart City project portfolio. Before I start to talk about projects, uh, I'll talk briefly about how we work. Uh, I work uh, in a unit called uh, Smart City Projects Competence Center. It is relatively new. It was established in the autumn of 2019, so it's roughly a year and a half old. We have two main objectives. We develop and centralize the EU project know-how in the city. Uh, and when doing that, we basically do two main things. We initiate and manage uh, new large-scale EU projects and in conjunction with that we do their marketing and communication. And uh, I would like to stress here that actually we don't outsource the marketing to other city departments. We have our own marketing specialist, so we handle this in-house entirely. And also when talking about marketing and communications, uh, we have uh, three main uh, target groups here. Uh, first being uh, city employees. Uh, the city of Tallinn employees uh, 10,000 people, that's quite a lot. Uh, second important target group is our partners. Here our main partners are obviously universities. We have like, uh, I would say that maybe two-thirds or even more of our uh, smart city projects are all uh, done and handled in partnership with uh, universities. And the third important uh, target group here is obviously our citizens, because they have to know uh, what we do, why we do these projects, and how the project results affect them. And the main, other main objective of our uh, department is to support and empower other city departments and agencies. And we have uh, two employees who are dedicated to supporting our colleagues in other city uh, departments. And of course we also organize regularly some trainings and workshops about EU projects. And especially when there is a new call out, then we try to keep them up to date. The recently finalized uh, Tallinn Development Strategy 2035 uh, provides us with a framework for all of our smart city project initiatives. And when we speak about being smart, then for us it doesn't necessarily mean only being technologically innovative. It also means that Tallinn and by extension our citizen and by extension us uh, are creative, they are green, they are actively mobile, they are community minded, and it all occurs in a friendly cityscape and in a safe home. So basically all our, or almost all, our smart city uh, projects try to correspond to at least one of these uh, six pillars outlined in this uh, strategy document. I'll make a short uh, intro uh, by presenting some of our uh, smart city projects. Obviously, we have like 100 projects occurring in the city at a time. I would say of these 100 projects, I would call maybe, I don't know, maybe 20. I would call them to be large-scale and smart city projects. And today I, uh, I made a selection of uh, uh, five, or was it six, projects. But just to stress that we have actually many more. Uh, the first one is AI for Cities. This project is in my own portfolio. Uh, it uh, deals with a reduction of greenhouse gas emissions in the consortium cities uh, with the help of AI technologies. It's a pre-commercial procurement project, meaning that we actually don't procure uh, ready or uh, market-ready products. We actually procure product development. Uh, which is products which are not on the market and products which uh, correspond to uh, radical innovation. 
the budget of the project is quite large, like 6.6 .6 million, and they're all together six project partners uh, particip participating in the in the project. Um, the project deals with two domains. The first one is smart mobility, and the second one is smart energy. Uh, we have identified uh, three sub-challenges in each domain. Uh, that sub-challenge is meaning that in these areas we are looking for solutions. Uh, in mobility domain we are looking for solutions concerning mobility as a service, also traffic flow optimization and also optimization of logistics. When you talk about energy, we are looking for solutions uh, dealing with flexible energy consumption, for example, flattening peak loads. We are looking uh, for solutions increasing energy efficiency, and we are also looking for solutions uh, supporting the development of renewable energy. And the second one is uh, user-centric cities. This is a relatively new project. It started uh, yeah, December last year. Uh, the goal of this project is to increase uh, the user centricity of uh, our digital services. We have eight partners plus affiliated partners. The budget is 1.5 million. There are three main expected results we hope to achieve by the end of the project. The first is we hope to develop an online benchmarking dashboard with the help of which we could compare the performance of the participating cities on user centricity when it comes to their <coughs> sorry, uh, digital services. We also hope to develop a service design uh, support toolkit and also an online repository of best practices. It's quite a soft project, to be honest. Uh, but we hope or we strive to reach the goal that this actually would be a scalable approach, meaning that if we or when we develop these things, they can be scaled to other uh, cities and countries outside the project uh, consortium. Probably my favorite uh, project is called Pollinator Highway. Just maybe to highlight what Polyner means, in Estonia it's called Tollumlea, so they can be other plants, uh, they can be insects, for example bees. And uh, Polyner Highway is a species-rich meadow-like natural environment, and it's a, or it forms a so-called green corridor between city districts. So it starts in the uh, northern part of uh, Tallinn, near Teliski Vilomalinak and it goes all the way down to the southern part and it's roughly 13 kilometers long. So I have included two uh, pictures here. Well actually one is a photo and the other is a mock-up. On the upper side you see a couple of apartment buildings and your usual run-of-the-mill low-cut lawn. And on the bottom side you see uh, the same location, but it's overlaid with uh, a biodiverse uh, meadow environment. So it's quite inter interesting here because when we talk about this, then we also have to talk about psychology and we also have to talk about aesthetics because uh, by uh, changing the low cut lawn to a more natural habitat it kind of changes the people's mindset as well, or has to change the people's mindset as well. Because they are used to seeing low-cut lawn all over the city. So when doing these things, we ha also have to keep in mind people's mindsets. Another thing we would like to do is we would like to uh, develop um, allotment gardening, which is called basically city gardening. Uh, we have many uh, successful examples from abroad, from other European countries. Uh, we are planning uh, a pilot this year, hopefully with a helpful collaboration with Enterprise Estonia. The fourth one is called Cityscape. Uh, this is a highly technical project. It deals with cyber threats uh, which target multimodal transport networks. 
And the motivation to take part in this project is actually twofold. Uh, the first uh, important reason we are uh, participating here is that um, by the nature of, or due uh, to the nature of uh, the system architecture of transportation systems, they are extremely vulnerable to potential uh, cyber attacks. And the other reason is that when a cyber attack occurs and if the attack is successful, then the potential ramifications could be huge. So it's very important to actually deal with these threats. Uh, what we would like to do here, of course, we would like to detect all the suspicious uh, traffic data values and identify pers persistent threats. Uh, we also need to evaluate an attack's impact in technical and financial terms. And of course, the most important thing we would actually want to enhance our capabilities of predict those attacks on a zero day basis. And the last one uh, I'm going to present today is Go Green Roots. Again, this is quite a new project. It started, I think, was it November last year? The goal of this project is to mitigate adverse environmental effects with nature-based solutions and develop green infrastructure within the cityscapes. Uh, we have basically two uh, goals here. The first one is to implement in Tallinn a successful pilot, uh, which is scalable within the city, for example, to other city districts, uh, but also maybe to other cities, either in Estonia or abroad. And this all happens with the help of comprehensive toolbox. We hope to develop and we also would like to see an uptake in community-based city gardening uh, with the help of this project. And when we talk about the Tallinn pilot, then we have actually uh, already picked the pilot location in Tallinn. It's in Lasnama. Uh, it's uh, called Wormsi Park. At the moment, this area is partly waterlogged, uh, partly overgrown orchard with some old remains of buildings, bird nests, various park plants, and some, some spontaneous food paths and, and even campfire sites. So people go there for picnics, etc. And the goal there is build a uh, large city garden and also involve the local community in its maintenance. So that's it for me. Thank you.